Is Mom here? I need to talk to her. What's up? Well, Maggie and I are going out of town for Thanksgiving. What? You're not going to be here? Are you kidding me? Okay, I was kind of depending on you not to care. <laughs> Mom is going to hit the ceiling. Dad, how upset do you think she's going to be? My best advice to you is take the biggest gulp of air you can before she shuts you in the trunk. <laughs> oh, hi, Tim. Listen, I was going over the Thanksgiving shopping list. Should we do an orange or a pineapple glaze on the ham this year? Tim, why don't you choose? Me? Oh, I don't know. Maybe you should just skip the ham and only have turkey this year. Only turkey. Ha, <laughs> ha, Can you imagine Thanksgiving without ham? Tim, Thanksgiving is like a puzzle. If even one piece is missing, the whole thing is ruined. But what if the puzzle piece was very, very sorry he wasn't going to be there? What? Mom, I'm going to Maggie's parents for Thanksgiving. Ladies and gentlemen, the end of Tim. <laughs> Let's not make a big deal out of this. Enjoy your trip. I was not expecting that. You know who's a puzzle? You, Mom. A beautiful puzzle. <laughs> I'm gonna go tell Maggie the good news. Well, uh, if Tim isn't gonna be here, I have a conference in San Francisco next Friday, and um, they want me to fly out on Thanksgiving. Go. I know how much your company values you. Thanks, Mom. You see, I didn't realize we could make plans on Thanksgiving. Little heads up next year. Any of you handled that surprisingly well. And I know we both want all of the kids here, but you know what? I bet the three of us will have a great Thanksgiving. Don't rub it in my face, Peter. <laughs> It is obvious that nobody wants to be here, so I'll just spend Thanksgiving alone. And the holiday season has officially begun. Away our holiday decorations. <laughs> it's over. No more Thanksgiving. No more Christmas. This is the beginning of the end. <laughs> Tim will be with Maggie. Sarah will be away on business. Todd will have a girlfriend or a wife or a girlfriend and a wife. <laughs> They've grown up, Peter. They don't need us. It's over. We might as well make our funeral arrangements now. Yeah, that seems logical. Well, the kids won't do it. They'll be too busy. They probably won't even show. Annie, I swear to you, they'll be at your funeral. I'll make sure of it. Peter, we both know you're going to go first. <laughs> and to be honest, I'm kind of looking forward to the peace and quiet. Peter. Look, you know what? If it's so important to you for all of us to be together for the holiday, why don't we just... Have Thanksgiving early. That's a great idea. We could have the best Thanksgiving ever. That's the spirit. We'll show them that this is the place to be. There you go. So they'll never want to miss another holiday with us. Okay. And maybe they won't be in such a rush to move on and have lives of their own. <laughs> I just hope you're right about me going first. <laughs> anything I can do to help. Oh, don't be silly, Maggie. You couldn't possibly be of any help to me. <laughs> she feels bad because she's taking me away for the real Thanksgiving. Oh, well, there's a pile of pots and pans in the sink. You could scrub them. Sure. And maybe push the mop a little. <laughs> I'll help you, Maggie. <laughs> Did you hear what he said? The real Thanksgiving. This is the real Thanksgiving. In his defense, it is a little confusing. And he's not our brightest child. And look what he's wearing. A dirty t-shirt. He might as well be waving a banner that says, I hate this holiday and I hate my mommy. <laughs> yes? Right of residence? Mm -hmm. I'm here to fix your phone line. Oh, no. Not today. We're having an early Thanksgiving. 
Uh, if you want to reschedule, you can come back in a month. What if we have to have an early Christmas? <laughs> Why don't we just get it done now? Oh, all right. Just follow me. Oh, and since we're pretending it's Thanksgiving, could you complain about working on the holiday? It would really help set the mood. <laughs> Tim, I need you to go home and put on a sweater. Why? Because you don't wear a dirty T-shirt to Thanksgiving dinner. I'll have you know, I bought this T-shirt at a garage sale from a real live American Indian. Happy Thanksgiving. Look who brought pie. Ooh, is it from Eggert's Bakery? No, Tim, I made it. It's my world famous pumpkin pie. Oh, great. Much rather have you make it than someone who's been in the pie business for 85 years. Sarah, don't you look nice. Were you able to get that? Oh, oh, one second, one second. Sarah Brennan. Seems uh -huh. a bit rude to be talking on the phone during a holiday. Sarah, off the phone. Dad, this is important. Peter, don't yell at the children. You just said... Yes. This is their day. Hey, Mom, do I have to change my clothes for dinner? Oh, of course not. The most important thing is that you're comfy. <laughs> Annie. What was that? Oh, I'm sorry. I just think we should hold off on the yelling today. No yelling. Well, how do we communicate what we want? Please, please, I just want everybody to have fun. I want this to be the best Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving ever. ever. Oh, I'm so lucky to have yes, you. Yes, and you still want Tim to change his shirt. Well, imagine how much more fun he'd be having if he were wearing a cardigan. Hey, hey, I got that Eggert's pie you wanted, Dad. Eggert's, nice. I have to call you back, I have a situation. <laughs> what do you have there? Pie. What kind of pie? Pumpkin. Pumpkin? Will you leave me alone if I say it's apple? <laughs> Todd, you know I make my world-famous pumpkin pie every year. If you got an extra pie, I can take it off your hands. <laughs> I think we got it covered. <laughs> Maybe just a slice then, hey? Huh? Leave it on the floor by the jack. <laughs> Dad told me to pick up the pie. Why would you do that? I forgot that you were making pie. I was up until midnight last night baking. Sarah. We can eat both pies, and what we don't eat, apparently, we can leave on the floor for the phone guy. Oh, get this. My dad asked Todd to get a pie from Eggert's. Oh, Eggert's is the best. You picking a fight with me? What? I make the pumpkin pies around here, not some roly-poly ma Eggert. My dad knows that. Well, I'm sure he just forgot. Whose side are you on here? Sarah, I'm not on anyone's side. This is a dangerous game you're playing. <laughs> Mom, can I talk to you about your husband's power play vis-a-vis -vis pumpkin pie? What is she saying? Don't worry, I've got it covered. Hey, when is this thing gonna kick into high gear? Thanksgiving dinner will be served at five. Ooh, that's no good for me. My buddies and I have tickets to the fight in Atlantic City. What? All right, I'll stay till 5.15. But, Dad, don't take a lot of time carving the turkey. Just chop, chop, chop. Let's go. <laughs> now, there is no chop, chop, chop. Carving is a delicate dance between knife and bird. I'm still here, and I'm still mad. I've got to finish the cooking. Go. I'll handle it. With love. I really need you to stay here for dinner. You've got me till 5.30, but you owe me. I mean, it's a championship fight. Can someone come deal with me? You want to see a fight? Stick around. Your sister and I are getting very close. Don't want to toss me a pillow for my knees. <laughs> hey, now, how about a soda? Maybe Dad can have Todd get you one from Eggert's. A soda in the fridge. I need it room temperature. <laughs> Sensitive teeth. <laughs> but I'll make do. <laughs> With the sweet potatoes. What? You were going to go home and change and then go pick up the sweet potatoes. I forgot. You've been gone for 45 minutes. What have you been doing? 
I don't know. I was looking for my sweater, and then I saw my guitar. So I started writing a song about a guy looking for his sweater. I guess we'll just make do without sweet potatoes. Hey, Dad, see if you can get Mom to speed things up in there. I want to get to Atlantic City before the good-looking chicks are hooked up for the night. <laughs> Tim forgot the sweet potatoes. What? But he has written yet another song about a guy looking for something. We can't have Thanksgiving without sweet potatoes. You know what? And Sarah continues to be a giant pain in the ass. Oh, you know what? And Todd requests an early dinner so he doesn't have to wake up tomorrow next to an uggo. Heaven's sake, they're ruining everything. How hard is it to pretend it's Thanksgiving? And if you want those kids to change their attitude, they're not going to do it on their own. Well, what are you saying? If you want them here for the holidays, you tell them they have no choice. It's time to bring the hammer down. The hammer has been effective in the past. Let me swing it, Andy. I am dying to swing it. Well, being with them over the holidays means everything to me, Peter, so swing away at them. Swing with all your might. Then offer them mini quiches. All right. This Thanksgiving changes right now. You! Off the phone! But it's important. Yeah, I know. Everything's important to you. Conferences and calls and pies. Off! And you, forget about Atlantic City. The only heavyweight belt you're going to see tonight is the one that I'm going to loosen when I've had too much turkey. You, put the sweater back on. It's itchy. Life is itchy. <laughs> this holiday is for you, and you're going to enjoy it, whether you hate it or not. Got it? Okay. Yeah. I would like a... Yes, Dad, and I'd like it loud. Yes, yes Dad. Dad. Better. <laughs> so, now who's ready for some mini quiches? <laughs> Do you hear the yes, Dad? Did you hear it? I heard everything. So what now? Well, you gave them the big bad dad. Now here comes the fun, fun mom. <laughs> Who wants yummy num noms? Do I have to answer? <laughs> Where are the kids? Well, I took off with your maid. Maid? You mean Maggie? That was with Maggie? Yeah. Hey, they were pretty upset with you. Well, see ya. Wait, where did they say they were going? I went to the maid's house. <laughs> oh, my God. Our Thanksgiving. I don't understand. I made it clear they had no choice. I can't believe they left. You heard the yes, Dad. What? Well, it's like we can't even trust them anymore. I have to go and get them back. What are you going to do? I'm going to go and tell them that their behavior is completely unacceptable. Your father's behavior was completely unacceptable. <laughs> well, the important thing is that he feels very, very sorry. He does. Do you know what he was doing when I left? He was eating the pie that you made. <laughs> he said that was all that was left of you. He said that? Between the tears, Sarah. <laughs> well, you know, all I did was say I had to cut out a little bit early, and he just totally went off on me. That's because he wanted you to carve the turkey this year. <laughs> really? Why didn't he tell me? It was going to be a big surprise. There was going to be this big ceremony where he handed you the knife and proclaimed you the new family turkey carver. <laughs> like his father before him. I know that means a lot to him. He should have told me. I would have stuck around for the ceremony. <laughs> Congratulations, Todd. Did he say anything about my crust being flakier? Were you eavesdropping, Sarah? Because that is exactly what he said. <gasps> I still think he owes us an apology. Your father is working on a toast right now, so won't you please come back to the house? It would mean so much to us. Okay. Yeah. Oh, great. Uh, you know, I should go upstairs and get Maggie. Oh, don't worry, Tim. 
I'll get her. You just start celebrating your Thanksgiving. <laughs> You're kidding. No, this day is finally coming together. We will have the turkey. You will make an apology toast, and we'll eat two pies. <laughs> I'm sorry, apology toast? Oh, and I'm going to dim the lights, and when I turn them back up, Todd should have this knife. What do you, what, what do you mean, apologize? This is their fault, not mine. Oh, I know, but come on, you know how much this day means to me, so please do it. Please. No. Annie, it's please. not happening. No. <sighs> apology. You are the sunshine of my life. Annie? Yeah. That's why I'll always no. be around. No. Yeah. Stop. Yeah. No. Yeah. Annie, no. This is not going to work. You are the apple of my life. Yeah. I love that song. Oh, I just want to say I am so happy to have my family together on this very special Thanksgiving. And now your father will make a toast. Hey, where's Maggie? Shh. Your father is making a toast. <laughs> to my children, there are many things I would like to say, but most important is this. Not a day goes by when I am not grateful for each of you. I know it's hard to believe sometime, but the three happiest days of my life were the days that you were born. Todd, Sarah, Tim, your mother and I will always be thankful for you. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, Peter, that was lovely. Please pass the mashed potatoes. So your father will have the mashed potatoes first. <laughs> I'll be upstairs. When everyone leaves, let me know. I'll help clear the table. What? My fake Thanksgiving is officially over. Too much emotion. He is such a softy. What are you doing to my Thanksgiving? Nothing. You know why? Because today is not Thanksgiving. Was it so hard to give one heartfelt, made-up apology? I do it all the time. <laughs> Yes, it was. Because we jumped through hoops to give those kids a holiday together. But if Thanksgiving is about them coming over, eating our food, and being ungrateful, then every day is Thanksgiving for them. Peter! I'm serious, Annie. Holidays are for families that aren't close. We see those kids every day. And I think that's a nice thing. It is. I, I, you know... Hey, wouldn't it be even more special if they had to fly in to see us? Imagine that, Annie. Imagine a world where the kids had to fly in. Tim on United. Sarah on American. <gasps> Todd's flight is late. Should we take one car or two? Then the weekend is over. See you next holiday, kids. <laughs> Peter, the children are my life. Yeah. They're my life, too. That's the problem. Well, what are you saying? I am saying that maybe it's time the holidays became about us. Yeah, but... Listen to me, the... Annie. I've already given up on the dream that you and I will spend our golden years together alone on a golf course. But we have to grab things while we can. You gave up on that dream? Shortly after Tim was born. <laughs> Well, we are a, a close family already. Exactly. Listen, I think we have to test this out. I mean, see what it's like without the kids. I bet you're going to like it. I don't know, Peter. You are the sunshine of my life. That is why I'll always be around. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
This is ridiculous. I'm just gonna carve the turkey. You're not the guy. Not yet. <laughs> Thanksgiving is over. What? Where are you going? Bahamas, Aspen, Pittsburgh? I don't care. We'll decide at the airport. Airport? You can't leave. This was supposed to be our Thanksgiving. Oh, honey. Is Thanksgiving that important to you? Of course it is. Yeah, it's not a holiday unless we're all together. I am never going out of town again. Oh, Sarah, that is so sweet. I can't tell you how much that means to me. See ya. <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving, kids. I've activated the alarm. You've got 60 seconds to leave.